This is a series of videos of editing in color in Lightroom. In this section, we're going to talk about the split toning here. Um, sometimes I use this and sometimes I don't, so just try it and see um, what you think. And then if you like it, use it. If you don't, don't. So um, what this is most useful for is situations like if you shoot right before the sun sets or if you shoot in um, mixed lighting. Sometimes the highlights will be one color and the shadows will be another color and that doesn't look great. Um, so you can use this to edit the highlights and add a hue um, or change the hue and same thing with shadows. So one way you can do it, you can click on this box and then you can choose these predetermined ones. And so, again, just like anything, sometimes some of them look good and sometimes uh, other ones look terrible. You can also choose your own custom color here and again, sometimes they look good and sometimes they look horrible. Um, so you just have to play with it and see. This one actually looks pretty good on my photo. And then you close it here. Same thing for shadows. You can go through and like, for example, I can make the shadows more blue. I'm gonna undo that. Um, you can make them more warm. And sometimes that it's a look good, other times it won't. Not particularly fond of these edits, so I'm gonna zero these back out. Okay, you can also manually do it yourself. So for example, um, my highlights do look a little bit better warm. So the hue will change the color of that section, in this case highlights. So I'm gonna shift it towards the orange or yellow. I won't really see anything happen until it increases saturation. Okay, so that's increasing in a little bit. That look, looks pretty good. I can go extreme and it's gonna start getting funky. So just be careful about adding too much. I'm also going to try to maybe warm up my shadows a little bit. Let's see how it looks. There we go. Okay. And um, sometimes it looks good to have different tones and sometimes it doesn't. So just play with it and see how that looks.